we didn't see Chris Olave out there at practice today. Any information you can give us about that? Uh, I would let that you know come out from the head coach, and uh, that'll probably be on the injury report for okay, why. Okay, so it, it is injury related. No, well, I I don't know exactly how they'll word it. That's it, it's, that'll it's, come on. Yeah, you. whatever goes on the injury, uh, that report yeah, for who practiced, who didn't. Uh, another thing that you don't know for sure yet is who will start a quarterback for you this week. How, how do you handle those reps accordingly? Yeah, I think I think that we make sure that, uh, you know, I think both guys obviously will be prepared. Guys getting mental, rapes, rep, mental reps if they're not the one that's uh, taking the actual rep in practice. But I think, you know, as we get through the week, we'll see where it gets to. But uh, we'll still kind of go with the normal flow of putting a game plan together. And then at the end of the week, whenever that decision is made, you know, getting with that quarterback and saying, hey, what are you comfortable with? What's in the game plan? Obviously, we've seen Jameis only come into the games in relief. And, and the last couple, I think you guys were down by two plus scores when he came in. Does that make it really hard for him to get in rhythm? And that, you know, I mean, yeah. a lot of those throws were kind of yeah, high risk, I, high reward. Yeah, I think that uh, in the situation that he's been put in when he's had to come in, uh, you know, he's been playing from behind most of the time. And so he's had to, uh, you know, we probably had to be a little bit more aggressive at times. And I think that, uh, yeah, he's never really had that opportunity to just weed and go, so. You obviously don't have somebody who backs up Taysom in Taysom's role because it's unique. Does that complicate the game plan as well because he didn't practice yesterday? Yeah, I think this. I think that as far as what, how it goes with Taysom, he's such a professional. I think that, uh, for, you know, obviously you like to get the reps during the week, but I think that, uh, you know, he's so used to his role and what he does, and he's smart. He's always in the right position, always makes the right plays. I think that, uh, you know, we'll wait to see how long that – uh, before we have to make a decision. We saw Lynn Bowden with the running backs. What's just kind of the vision for, for the player? Well, I think this. I think that, uh, you know, he's actually had opportunities on the scout team where he's been back there and done some nice things. I just think that, uh, you know, you go into every game and make sure that if certain things, guys are up or down, depending on that, and then just making sure that you can say, well, he got some work and uh, just in case he had to be ready for an emergency. Peter, yeah, I think looking back at uh, this year, it seems like you, I think y'all have run 60% of y'all's plays while trailing this year. Does that make it uh, just like, are you out, out of your normal game plan a lot of times, when you're, like, especially when you're behind early? Well, I, I think that um, you know we've had a few games where we've had to get into maybe a little bit more of a, a faster tempo, throw it a little bit more. But I think that I think that can vary just based on how much time is left, how much you're down. Uh, is it still the normal flow of the game? Uh, so I think, again, that just probably varies by situation. I think if you're down by a couple scores and it's getting late in the game or um, a time where we felt like, hey, the, the tempo got us a rhythm and got us going. So I think that it can be different circumstances. And the, the yardage numbers have uh, really improved over the last couple of weeks. Um, how much of that do you think is uh, the running game kind of starting to find its footing a little bit? Yeah, I think this. I think obviously uh, you go back to last week. Obviously didn't uh, do much in that first quarter, but I think once we found our rhythm, I think any time the run game is going, it makes it much easier to, you know, you got more from your menu. I think from your call sheet with the play actions, and uh, so I think that you know over the last few weeks we have run the ball uh, better than maybe we were doing earlier in the year. And again, that I think as a play caller, when you're able to run it officially, I think that helps. Why do you think the running game has gotten better last week? Yeah, I think that obviously our, um, you know, Doug, Kevin, Joel, those guys get together. They, I think they do a good job every week putting together a game plan. I think that, uh, you know, there's been a time where maybe we just kind of tried to simplify things or reduce, I should say, uh, and just focus more on maybe a certain amount of runs. You know, how have you seen Chris Lottery respond to, sort of, you know, you had that little stretch of adversity, and, and how, how have you seen him kind of come out of that the last couple of weeks? Yeah, I think uh, over the last few weeks he's been playing fast. I think that he and the quarterback have been on the same page. Um, I think he's made uh, – I think he's, he's running great routes. He's been on, uh, you know, just some field things that he's done, but I think that he's, he's, he's playing with confidence. And I Is think that, the quarterback and him are on the same page. Was there any, anything you guys had to do to kind of, like, coach him up out of that, or was that something that just kind of – you got well, I think he's he's a professional, and I think that uh, I think that he's always you know uh, done a good job with his assignment. I think that uh, there was just probably a period there where we were probably all just kind of like trying to make it, maybe try to force it to happen, and then just let it happen. Pete, you mentioned Lynn would be coming in for an emergency situation. Is it kind of been the challenge in the last few weeks when you have your top 
three wide receivers or top two wide receivers out the last couple weeks and potentially Chris this week? Is it been a lot of just moving guys in different places on offense to have the numbers? I think this, I think Cody uh, Burns has done a great job with those guys. So whoever we have active for the game, we're obviously, uh, we'll have a plan, we'll be confident whoever has to go in the game. Uh, it's probably a little bit more of a challenge during the game when uh, you know you lose two guys and then you're down to three just with the uh, amount of different personnel groupings we have. Uh, but I think Cody's done such a great job of the communication on the sidelines. When one guy goes down, uh, filling the different personnel and making sure we're still putting the guys in the right spot. Shaq Davis was back out there in practice today. How has it been kind of getting him back in the integration? Yeah, it was, it was, it was nice. I know that uh, you know the players love him. They were excited that he was able to get back out there. And uh, you know he's got such a great attitude and looking forward to you know with him for things down the road. Pete, last week, um, Andrew Speed had to come off the field for, for a little while. When he did that, it wasn't Trevor Penning that went back in at left tackle. What is it that you all are still waiting to see from him before he starts to climb back up? Well, I think that I think just I would just say consistency. Mm -hmm. I think that uh, you know we've seen him do some good things, and I think that it's just um, right now that's just the direction we went with last week, and uh, you know we'll continue working with him, Doug Will, getting him ready to go if he has to. Are you pleased with what you've seen from him and how he's responded since he was Yeah, I am. Back I am, yes. Mm -hmm. and, and are there certain things that you were, what are some of the things that you were looking for that you have seen to this point in terms of his, his continued development? I think part of it was, um, you know, maybe just assignment. Sure. And then, you know, obviously some confidence, but I think that, uh, again, he's just, you know, he doesn't have a ton of reps under his belt prior to that. And so I think the more and more he could get, the better. Can a hard reset be beneficial for a player like that? I mean, he's only played 10 snaps since the Jacksonville game, but, you know, just having some time to learn and practice and stuff like that. Yeah, I think that uh, I think Doug and Kevin are working with him constantly, and uh, he'll be prepared to, to go if that, if that has to happen. But I think that, uh, again, we've seen growth. Okay. Thanks, Pete. Thank you. Thank you.